In the past, we had artificial narrow intelligence, ANI. Today, we have artificial general intelligence, AGI. The thing of tomorrow is artificial super intelligence, ASI. And who knows where humans will go from there. Before iPhones or smartphones and iPods and Walkmans and cassettes and things of that nature there, you had the 1946 RCA plug-in radios, you know. As a child, we lived on 22nd in Indiana, so RCA, the RCA company was right down the street from us in North Philadelphia, so I remember my father going in there and buying electronics, you know, and that technology was the creme la creme back in the day. But then Japan invented the transistor and the world will never be the same. Your smartphone, artificial intelligence. In fact, the modern world of technology has a debt to Tokyo. In 1955, Tokyo literally pulled the plug in electronics. They invented the transistor. See, when I was growing up, we had, I was living out 22nd in Indiana. And back in the day, you had American-made products and, you know, American radios and televisions. You know, they, they used to produce them right here in the United States of America. But then the Japanese Tokyo telecommunications engineers, they came up with the concept that we could get rid of plugs or electronics. There, there was no need to plug a radio into the wall. You know, an elder that used to live downstairs from us. In fact, he was the landlord, Mr. Henry, an elderly man. He used to always love listening to the baseball game, but he could only listen to the baseball game by plugging in the radio to the wall. You know, the alternating currents, ACDC. But when the transistor came out, he was able to take and walk around, go to the park. Um, he, he could take and just sit outside and listen to the radio on the steps because he had batteries inside the radio. That was that was huge technology back in the 70s when I was a child growing up. Now, I mean, that technology, you know, I remember they even made radios out of little packs of cigarettes. Anything could be made into a telecommunications device. Now, I mean, so things that was huge became small. Now, I mean, giant stereos, um, the Tokyo Corporation became known as Sony. And the same products that America's considered cheap because it was made in Japan became the number one brand in the world. And everybody wanted their Walkmans and things of that nature. Now, then, back then anyway, but nowadays, you know, we got iPhones and, you know, uh, laptops and personal computers and GPS and things of that nature there. But that concept, that binary system, it's an ancient system. You, it goes back to the I Ching, the Ife. You could you you'll find that it's the ancient teachings of Kemet or Black Egypt. Now I mean the message to talk about in message to the black man in America he says that Dr. Yaku was the founder of unlike attracts and like repels. That's nothing but the ancient law of polarity as is known in the Kabbalion. Everything in this universe operates off of an on and off switch, a proton and electron, darkness and light, male and female, life and death, up and down, wet and dry. That that concept is an ancient concept that is simply used to manufacture technology in this day and time. But we have a new form of technology rooted in the modern technology that's about to change the world over the next decade. 
in Tokyo, they have literally stepped the game up. Well, we like right now, people think that AI is new technology, artificial intelligence. Pardon me, that's the other phone. But but AI is really going to be obsolete. They they have in fact they got something instead of calling it artificial intelligence, they call it ASI, artificial supreme intelligence, <laughs> meaning that it's ten thousand times smarter than any known human brain. Now. That's 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 a big statement right there. So I want y'all to hear it from one of the designers from Tokyo that's about to remake the world. This is Tokyo's SoftBanks, known as Sun, speaking about ASI. Is that something that I would like to discuss here? Uh, so I, you may have heard uh, the word of AGI because I used it last year at AGM. AGI is Artificial General Intelligence. That's a kind of a big, bigger of AI, uh, but uh, AI is a kind of a functioning, some part of it. And if you, the way of thinking, or the intelligence, wisdom, if you exceed humanity, then that becomes AGI. AI becomes AGI. So about one times to 10 times uh, intelligence, more intelligence than humanity is AGI. So we were aiming at AGI is a kind of uh, AI experts target and objective. Now, common objective now, but uh, targeting AGI, aiming AGI, what we should do with it, because AGI is almost the same or equivalent as humanity, maybe same or equivalent to smartest people in humanity, genius people, genius brain, about one to 10 times of humanity. One, one time is about the general person, 10 times genius, I would say. So within the humanities uh, skills or capability, that's AGI. I said, uh, AGI is coming in 10 years, that's something that I said in a public speech, but in reality, that was a, a bit conservative. My real thinking is that that will come much earlier. Within less than 10 years, I believe that all the AGI is going to be exceeding humanity, human brain. But that doesn't, if that's going to be about the same as human or uh, smarter human then that we don't need to change our way of living. We don't need to change the structures of human lifestyles because one to ten times it doesn't make much changes anyway. But when it comes to ASI, it's a totally different story. ASI, you see a big of movement. Those are the AGI moving around. So AGI creating here and there and that's going to be connecting each other and it's like a neuron. Uh, a brain and connected, and that becomes 10,000 smarter than human. It's not the 10,000 people, but 10,000 times smarter than any genius. That's the kind of an intelligence level that we're talking about ASI, artificial super intelligence. <laughs>